Hello everyone, uh, this is Engage UK, back again with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the uh, Pico kits, uh, many of which are available, almost 30 different kits available by Pico in Engage. Uh, they come in three main types, uh, 15 foot, of which there are a couple here, 10 foot and 9 foot uh, kits. I don't have any 9 foots on here. But they also do the uh, chassis for these kits separately if you're, if you're into scratch building your own wagons. So they're available and they're also used by uh, other companies. For instance, the Engage Society use uh, the Pico chassis with their kits. They supply them with their kits. So if you build one of the Engage Society kits, often you'll get a Pico 9 foot or 10 foot chassis with it. So what's available? Well, a quite a wide range of things. Uh, grain wagons, uh, tank wagons, uh, there's box vans, open mineral type vans and wagons. Uh, they do brake van kits, um, salt wagons, pallet vans, parcel vans, fish vans. So quite a wide range, but the great thing about these is it's, it's a really easy and very cost effective way of, of building up a quick large rake of wagons. Uh, you can pick these up for about three pounds to three pounds fifty. So for, th for for about forty pounds, you can put together say twelve seven plank open wagons, which will look quite nice as a rake. And they're really simple to build. You get all the bits you need in inside, and there isn't even any need to glue these when you put them together. So we're going to pick one of these out and just go through it very quickly and just show you putting it together just how simple this is going to be how easy and quick it's going to be all you're going to need to do once you've built it is if you want to give it a quick uh, coat of paint they usually come the kits themselves in grey or brown uh, the tank kits um, are now white so they you can use the base colour if you're putting uh, transfers on or something like that or you can paint it paint it a generic color like an lms gray or a br bauxite whatever color you want to paint it add decals or transfers if you want uh, weather it up and um, you've got a great looking wagon very simple very quick so let's take one of these kits it's a 10 foot wheelbase refrigerator box van and that kit number is knr42 and just open it up and uh, look at the contents. First thing you're going to get is a little instruction leaflet and little is the word, it's tiny. <laughs> you get very basic, very simple instructions because that's all you need. And this one uh, applies to 10 or 15 foot wheelbase wagon kits, so keep that. As you can see, it's uh, a very simple step-by-step -step guide. Uh, you don't need any tools except um, a little bit of uh, maybe a knife or a, uh, a file just to remove any flash from the uh, from the mouldings. So put that aside. You also get two small bags inside. One will contain the couplers, uh, the wheels, and a couple of very small nuts which you're going to need to attach the body to the chassis. The other bag contains the body and the chassis and a weight. Uh, so simply by clipping and combining these together, you're going to end up with a, a little kit in about five minutes time. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to take everything out of the bags and I'll come back and show you how you put it together. So I've taken the uh, main parts out of the larger of the bags. Um, this is the um, body of the wagon, uh, the chassis the roof and the weight. Uh, the smaller bag I've just opened so it's accessible because there are some some tiny bits in here so you don't really want to pour them out onto the onto the mat and, and uh, knock them or find them rolling away. Um, we're going to need the couplers first out of this bag, uh, then the little nuts and then finally we'll, the, we'll pop the wheels in which will be the last thing we do. So we'll just put that aside for a moment. So the first thing you need to do is just visually give all the bits a little bit of a, a check over for any um, bits of flash. Now flash of course is um, 
where these have been in injection mouldings, these pieces of plastic, uh, sometimes they have, where they've been attached, they have a little bit of plastic which is, uh, which is left behind as part of the process and you're going to need to re re remove that. And the most common place on these little Pico kits is right in the centre of this chassis here. Uh, there's almost always a little bit of flash there that needs to be removed because you need to get the wagon body down flush and that's going to interfere here. You can see the holes on that chassis. Uh, there are two pegs on the body of the, of the wagon and they slide in, but that's not going to go down flush with that piece of flash there. So the first thing I'm going to do is just give everything a quick once over and remove these bits of flash. You can do it with a knife, a sharp knife like an X-Acto knife uh, or a file. Have a little file here, can use, uh, or a combination of both. Um, file that away or cut it away and, and file it smooth. So, and then just test fit the pieces to see that they do fit nice and, and easy. So, I'm just going to stop the video for a second and just uh, clear up all these, any flash off of this. Okay, so just to uh, give you an idea of what I've had to do, um, I found a, a, a flash on the chassis here. Uh, a bit corresponding on the bottom of the body of the wagon which I've removed with a knife because getting a filing there is a little bit tricky because these uh, don't come flush this uh, this bottom is recessed down so to try and file across that I you could damage the, uh, the, the sides of that moulding so that I've done with a knife this one I'm doing with the file because you can just simply file across it and remove it so I'm just going to get on with that and once that's done, I'll come back and just start to test fit this together. Okay, so I've cleaned up all the flash. Uh, there was a tiny bit on the roof line as well, which I just had to sort of clean up to get it completely square. But I've removed the piece on the centre of this wagon body and also filed away the piece here, which was, the, which was quite proud, it was a couple of millimetre high. And I've done a quick test fit and that now fits on there. Nice flush. So the first part of putting the kit together, going back to our instructions, is to locate the weight on the chassis and that simply drops over and sits on like that. And next we're going to drop the couplings into the pocket, so we need to get them out of here, get them ready and they'll drop in. When we put the body on, that will hold the couplings in these two um, pegs, push down and hold the couplings at the right height and square. So couplings out of the bag. So here we have the couplings. Uh, it's pretty difficult to get them the wrong way up because the, um, the little bit that extends goes down. So it goes that way with the little pipe sticking down and those will simply drop in to the pocket. When you first put them in, they'll sag because there's nothing holding them in square. But don't worry about that. So we drop those in. Okay, and next we're going to put the body onto the chassis and those pegs will go into the holes and hold the couplers uh, at the right height. Sometimes you have to just uh, flex it slightly, pop it in. It's not a perfect fit, but it will. There we go. That's popped on now. Okay, and you can see now that the, the couplers do sit at the right angle. Next, uh, to attach the body permanently to the sachet, you're going to use the two tiny nuts in this bag, uh, which will screw onto the pegs uh, from underneath. Don't over tighten them, but uh, just tight enough to, uh, to hold it on firmly. So I'll get those out of the bag and uh, attach one and just uh, come back when I'm finishing off the second one. Well I fitted those um, two nuts underneath. Um, uh, a fiddly little job but uh, not too tricky. Uh, I started using tweezers and then used the long nose pliers just to finish it off. That was quite simple. Uh, and you just tighten them up enough so that they'll hold on that body on there firmly. Okay, so last two things to do. Uh, one is the roof. Um, you could, if you wanted to, uh, skip this part and maybe glue the wagon body down. 
the beauty of this, of course, is it does give you the, the uh, freedom to disassemble the wagon um, at some future point. If you wanted to, for instance, um, paint the underframe without having to mask the body off or anything like that, you could, of course, do it before you started, but this gives you the flexibility to go back to it later and make some changes to it. The roof clips straight on. Very simple. Uh, and again, you might want to leave the roof white or just uh, off-white with a bit of weathering and have a different body uh, uh, colour on the wagon. Grey with white roof is quite a common one. And the last part is just to simply drop the wheels in. Um, on, the, on the chassis uh, itself there are uh, two holes on one side which engage the wheels and on the other side there are grooves. So you pop the wheel in that way and, and using the groove put in and, and it will engage into the chassis. Let's get one side in. You can sometimes just tease this out slightly and there you go. That's the wheels in. Do the same with the second set. that out and there you have the wheels in so there you have it all complete and a very quick job uh, you can build build these kits you know several in, in an hour uh, and then once finished uh, all you need to do is uh, paint or transfer whatever you want to do you can take it as far as you want to uh, or not um, now the, the beauty of the this one at the moment, obviously it's it's, it's white, so uh, you would normally paint that. But if you do want to put transfers on it, I, for instance, got here transfers from uh, Robbie's Rolling Stock, which are for various Pico kits. Um, the white colour on here is actually clear, so you you to do these normally you have to paint the the wagon body or the tank body white, so that these uh, letters do appear white. So. Um, it's a bit of an advantage here that this is already white because that transfer could go straight on there. Uh, I would normally paint the wagon with some Johnson's Clear or uh, gloss lacquer before you put the transfers on because they, they bed in better. Maybe use some Microsol as well to, to enable the transfer to s soak into the back and body and all the little uh, raised detail and work, work with it. So there you have it, Pico Wagon Kits. They're a, a great range available. They're very easy to build. Uh, they're maybe not quite as prototypically correct as some of the other wagon kits, for instance the Engage Society wagon kits, but uh, to, to build up a quick and large rake of uh, a coal wagons or box vans or, or uh, tankers, they're, they're a great way to do it and they're simple and easy and they're a good first step in wagon building. Later on, I'm going to look at some other uh, wagons. Uh, I think the next one we'll do will probably be an Engage Society wagon kit, which is a little bit more tricky. Obviously, for a start, you have to glue all the parts together, which, when you're talking about something this scale, does make it a little bit more difficult. Um, so stick around, and that will be along soon. Anyway, thanks for watching this uh, video. Please comment, rate, subscribe below. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.